Good morning students. Today let us learn about the four division properties. Property 1. When a number is divided by 1, then the question is the number itself. Here you can see 5 divided by 1 is equals to 5. Now let us see how. There are 5 kids but only one apple. How many slices do we need to make? Since there are 5 kids and one apple, we need to make 5 slices. So that each one of the kids get one slice of the apple. Therefore, 5 divided by 1 equal to 5. This concludes that when a number is divided by 1, the question is the number itself. Property 2. When a non-zero number is divided by itself, then the question is 1. Here you can see 4 divided by 4 equals to 1. To explain property 2, let us take this example. You can see 4 kids and 4 oranges. How many orange does each one will get? Each one will get one orange. So we have to divide 4 divided by 4 equals to 1. Thus it shows us that when a non-zero number is divided by itself then the question is 1. Property 3. When 0 is divided by any number the question is always 0. Here 0 divided by 6 equals to 0. Let us take an example. There are 0 oranges in the basket and 6 kids. So, how many oranges will each kid get? Each kid will get 0 oranges since there are no oranges in the basket. So, we can write 0 divided by 6 equals to Zero. Property 4. When the remainder is 0, the question and the divisor are always factors of the dividend. Let us take an example. So, I have taken an example where the remainder is 0. 12 divided by 4, where 4 is the divisor, 3 is the question and 0 is the remainder. Here, 4 and 3 are the factors of 12. That means 4 into 3 equal to 12 or 3 into 4 equal to 12. Here you can see 4 and 3 are the factors of 12. So we can conclude that when the remainder is 0, the question and the divisor are always the factors of the dividend. I hope you all understood about the division properties.